All right, you guys. Yay. So if you look right here, yeah, it's a little messy. No big deal. Um, I can always go and hold this. I'll just kind of clean it up with my finger. I just want to see that you can do this. And I'll get the good paintbrushes out when we do the landscape, okay? So now I'm going to do complementary. Complementary colors are when two colors are opposite each other on the color wheel. So red and green are complementary. Yellow, green, and red, violet are complementary. Orange and blue are complementary, all right? I'm probably going to do, I really like yellow, purple, but I have a lot of purple right here. Red and green, too. <laughs> red and green. I have red and green in the background. All right. So red and green <laughs> by request in the background. <laughs> and look, even on my watercolor palette, they're opposites. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of red. Not a lot, but I need a little bit, okay? Oh. Okay, so um, again, I'm going to clean my brush, okay, and then I'm going to ask my assistant to please go fill it up and get me more clean water, please, and a new paper towel. So here we go. For my red and green, I'm going to put my green here and my red here because I don't want my red to blend in. So I'm going to go like this. And my brush is kind of thick, so I'm going to kind of go lightly right here. And then I am not going to mix them, okay? Um, if you mix them, you will get brown, okay? I do not want brown. Brown is not complimentary. Brown, can you dump half of it out? I don't need that much water, please. Okay, so here's that. I probably should have gotten a thinner brush for this one, you guys. I'll probably go back and touch this up off camera just because I'm trying to do this kind of fast, okay? And then again, if it's like a little too dry or thick and you need it to smooth out, always just add a touch of water, okay? And if you add a touch of water, it's got a little more control. See how it smooths out? Okay, there is my green. I'm gonna clean my brush because you do not want your colors to mix, again, even in your brush, okay? So I'm gonna go right here, see, clean my brush. I'm now gonna do my red. So my red is right here, and I'm going to do the same thing. So if you want to get a nice, a nice, nice flat thing, go like this with your brush, and you'll get that flat edge so you can do um, straight lines. Okay. So if you ever notice, Christmas colors are complimentary. Um, I'm going to turn my paper. Okay. I'm going to see. All right, there you go. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm gonna clean this. Now look, see, brown. It's like a reddish brown. It's a warm brown, but it turns brown, okay? And then you, you really wanna clean your brushes in between, okay? That's why I have a paper towel, okay? Now that I've done that, I gotta do analogous. Can you go get me more water, please? <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry my assistant. So analogous is when you have uh, three or four colors that are right next to each other. So for this one, you guys, I'm gonna have you just do three colors. Um, for analogous, any requests for my analogous colors? Red, green, red. Red, orange, yellow? Uh, orange, I would have to go uh, red, violet. I kinda wanna do red, violet, no. So red, red, orange, and orange. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go or I could do orange, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green. I know. I think I'm going to do a little, no, I'll make it easy for you guys. This isn't the best brush. So, so many decisions with color. So we're going to go, I said, orange, what would you, we said? We said orange. Orange, yellow, orange, yellow, I think. Or how about yellow, 
Yellow, green, green. I think I should, I don't have a lot of yellow, green. Right. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> well, thank you for agreeing with me. So I'm gonna mix my yellow, green, okay? I'm gonna save my analogous for last because obviously I need my yellow, green and then a little touch of yellow. See, like two drops, okay? To get my yellow, green. Okay, so there's my yellow, green. I'm gonna do the brush tip so I get that flat edge. And then I'm going to go right here. If you notice, you guys, these are pretty much the same colors we did for the One Point Perspective Cactus. Okay, so here is my yellow green. I'm gonna add just a touch of water just because I want it to go a little smoother. Okay, um, if you add water, it also smooths out the brush strokes or like, yeah, right there, okay? So there is my yellow green. Next would be my straight yellow and then my yellow orange. So I'm gonna clean my brush again. Okay. And then yellow green. So I'm gonna go straight yellow. Okay. I'm gonna get that flat area. If it overlaps a little bit, it's okay. Okay, there that is. There's that. I even might, like, I think I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit. I like smooth gradation. You guys may not, but I do, so whatever. It's your choice, don't care, get it done. Okay. Okay, and now I'm gonna do uh, just straight orange. Oh, it was yellow orange. So, because I have yellow out already, I'm just going to add a little bit of orange to it. Okay. And then, because I have orange right here, so I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to make my yellow orange, which looks really orange because I think I had a little bit of red orange. So, I'm just going to add a little more yellow. Okay. So, right here. All right. And we're going to go right here. Let's use a little more yellow. I'm gonna add a little more yellow. Okay. All right, so there we go. Ah, I don't normally do it over there, but for the video I was. Oh my God. So here's this. And again, if you want to, you can smooth it out. There you go. There is my color schemes all done.